All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we got ourselves the setup getting ready to go. Let's go ahead and test the numbers. Oh, if we don't kill it with Zyros. <laughs> Fail. Fail. Yeah, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chaddish. We're back at it again with the next unit showcase. Uh, this unit is a little old school, but not that old school, okay? You guys know that if you watched my recent unit and rune showcase for December 2015, you will know that I kind of had epiphany, a little bit epiphany along the way, um, talking about this particular unit and how I feel that he could be valuable for those that are um, looking for that, you know, Theo filler spot um, for a YOLO comp. So um, we know uh, over the course of the time that, um, you know, with regards to whether we're talking with Arena or Guild Wars, you know, the strength of your of your score, what you get, you know, as far as the, um, you know, your end rank at the end of the day or what you get as far as the end rewards for PvP, whether it's Guild Wars or, or Arena, is going to come from the offensive side, not from the defense side. And, and while we do always try to you know work on our defense we understand that the offense is is crucial and of course um you know there's many many ways to set up your team but the ever so popular way in the meta these days is is talking about is setting up a variety of yolo teams so our guild wars um our guild wars winning here just to kind of showcase uh, the the comp that's talking about when, when we're talking about you know the meta today and one of the most popular compositions out there for uh, Guild Wars offense and even sometimes Guild Wars defense. Um, you will see people rock the uh, Galleon Theo uh, Bernard combo. Okay, and why is it so strong? We already know the speed lead plus the speed boost, um, you know, is going to give Theo the opportunity to do an absurd amount of damage if you have him, you know, ruined, uh, ruined well. And because he has that elemental advantage uh, for the Elemental King, you know, he can hit anyone and, 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 and have the uh, attribute advantage, you know, right? Um, but of course, uh, we have a, a multitude of people out there that have been constantly, you know, trying to farm this guy for months and haven't had any luck. Now, if you hadn't had any luck and you have these two units out there, let me direct your attention to the one of the old school HOH units that we got way back when. If you have one of these sit in your monster box, um, you know, take a look at it. Um, I want to go ahead and direct your attention to it because, you know, a lot of people... Uh, don't realize that if you're if you're truly setting up a yellow team to focus on a team that is set up focused around one unit um, and if that unit goes down they have no other unit to really you know do anything good then I think I feel that this particular setup you know could be uh, legitimate right and so let, let's go ahead and talk about this why is the case we have the opportunity to um, you know decrease the uh, defense for two turns um, we got the opportunity to um, do a great, great amount of damage. And if we critically hit, we get our own sw uh, speed buff, right? So that's always nice. That's a recent change. Um, back in the day, it used to just have a, a higher cr critical rate chance, but now uh, they give us the opportunity to get our own swift set, you know, to, to buff. And then, um, you know, last but not least, the reason why I, I, I feel that this one could be this Theo, this could be the poor man's Theo, right? You know, using that spot is because um, the last skill does a great amount of damage and it's based on the uh, attack speed So it's gonna take all those factors the same factors that uh, Theo takes into consideration having the speed uh, swift buff the attack buff and the defense break um, For that first skill on Theo um, is going to do an absurd amount of damage and this skill is Also similar to Theo's in such that it's based on your attack speed. So, you know, depending on how you build them um, whether it's a super fast one or not um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see some you know pretty good damage here, and so of course, um, you know, if you guys haven't been paying attention to this particular unit, you do have this AOE attack that ignores all shields. That is always nice. But you know, when we're thinking about, um, you know, the original this this comes off the proc right. But when we're thinking about you know the the intention, your goal, which is to to one shot the kill threat, um, I believe this this unit can fill that role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little testing for you guys today. Um, and, and showcase, you know, basically what the numbers pull with the stats that I have and then possibly talk about some room builds. So, uh, let's go ahead and put the original team back. Okay, so, um, taking a look at 
have mine set up. I'm, now I'm using, like I said in the previous video for the rune showcase, I'm using extra runes right now. Extra runes, these are not crazy runes, okay? These are just uh, filler runes right now to, to, to go ahead and test them out so you guys can see what he is capable of, okay? So we're using a Swift Blade set. We'll go ahead and take a look at the sets. Notice that I'm going attack or damage attack, okay? And why am I using Swift Blade? Obviously it's, it's extra runes, but I feel that um, if, you, if you're having a hard time getting yourself um, speed substats for a particular damage deal, dealer that's built around attack or damage attack, um, and then I feel that a swift set might be able to get you there because depending on the speed substats that you got on some of these particular runes, as you can see right here, I do not have good amount of speed substats, right? But because of the fact that I'm using a swift set, that allows me to get that that speed that I'm looking for, okay? So now obviously, taking a look at this, obviously, this is not a high amount of speed. In addition, this is not at that, you know, 70, uh, 70 ish percent of Venara speed. So there's gonna be a little bit of gap here. So obviously, we're gonna be picking teams for the showcase that I'm not too concerned about their overall speed, just so I can make sure that this guy, you know, he goes, he goes, you know, right after the, all my, all my units buff or whatnot. But um, when it comes to the rune builds, you know, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of people going back and forth as far as attack or damage attack or speed or damage attack or whatever you're trying to do. Me personally, I feel like, uh, you know, attack or damage attack with the speed substats is, you know, superb. Um, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to the to the runes that you got uh, and, and making it what you got. So, you know, when I think about, you know, Rage Blade or, or Swift Blade or whatever, um, using these compositions are going to kind of be are going to kind of be the basics of this particular unit. But uh, if you have the opportunity um, to add a little bit more, right, like if we looked at my uh, Despair Lucian, I got a Despair Blade set with the same overall crit rate, crit damage stats, right? Um, good, good attack power and a good speed. You know, I if I really wanted to test them out, you know, with that, I had the opportunity to strip that set, put it on here, and and basically get the same amount of attack, same amount of uh, speed, but then I have the opportunity to, you know, um, do this, you know, provide a stun, provide a stun with this particular attack. And why do I, why do I make a comment about that? Because what you're going to see today is a, a great amount of damage, um, but you know, at the end of the day. We have no idea if the unit is gonna, you know, resist our defense break, or we have no idea if it's gonna have a will on it. So, um, for the units that happen to have no will and resist our defense break, if we don't kill them, or if they have will, let's say they don't have will, but they have, the, they have, they have the opportunity to land defense break, and we don't kill them, we still have the opportunity to stun them, in addition to reducing their attack bar, right? So that, you know, takes away that's that's turned it out. Okay, and of course. Um, let's not let's not forget the opportunity to proc that AOE attack, which again, uh, on the despair set will give us the opportunity to, um, you know, do an AOE attack in addition to ignoring their shields uh, when we go ahead and use it. Right. So, um, I'm a big fan of uh, if you do have the runes running around, as you know, you could you know you could play around with the despair set on here. I'm just using the swift runes for now because I use the despair set on Lucian, but uh, even more so um, than the despair set, right? Because technically you can use any set. Um, regardless of what you got, just, just depend on the runes. But um, I feel that uh, if you're trying to, you know, gain some extra turn now, the spare is nice. But if you want to take advantage of uh, the current buffs that you have and the defense breaks that you have with this particular Theo, with this Bernard, sorry, with this Galleon, Bernard, and Kaz comp, then if you can get the opportunity to get yourself a violent set, with those same kind of substats, right? Attack or damage attack, um, with 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 a good amount of speed substats or the speed, you know, crit damage attack, whichever one you're gonna go. Um, then you have the opportunity to not only do this attack, right, and do some absurd amount of damage, but if you have the opportunity to not only proc this uh, uh, AOE skill and get an additional turn, you have the opportunity to right then and there use this AOE skill to kill the remaining units. Um, or do a, an absurd amount of damage on the remaining units. Now again, that's all based on prob you know, probability RNG. That might not come into play. My focus for you guys today is to let you know that this can be a nice uh, sniping time for you. This can be a nice type of assassin if you're looking for a, a backup unit you know, for Theo. If you don't have Theo, you're looking for something that can you know, kind of take his place. 
Um, that being said, um, there is no death prevention, and he does have an issue with regards to you know hitting you know wind based units. So it's not it's not the end all be all. But there is a lot of people out there that do have the uh, Kaz and threw him in the storage and haven't found a use for him. So um, we'll go ahead and showcase um, him in a couple of arena or uh, guild war fights, so you guys can see what he's made of. So again, um, regardless of what kind of room build you're going for, Swift Blade, Rage Blade, Swift Rage Despair Violent. At the end of the day. Uh, it's all about getting the speed sub stats that you need to sync up with Bernard. It's all about getting the, you know, the high amount of, uh, you know, attack, crit damage and attack, just so you can see some sort of amount of damage. And then if you have the opportunity to rock a violent set and get all those other attributes, the speed synchronization, whatnot, then, then you have the opportunity to kind of do a one, two shot combo. If you're fortunate enough to proc the skill and get the job done. But again, guys. Um, I'm not let, let me go ahead and just showcase it so you can see what I'm currently sitting at with my stats And then you can kind of compare and contrast your size if you guys want to play around with this in the future So um, in addition in addition These are only a couple of ways to build it right we all have our uh, unique ways of building it um, Some people value right the speed on too. some people value um, attack because they feel that um, There's too much value lost in in, in 63% attack power Um if you take away that, you know, attack power on two versus, you know, putting just 42 speed on what? Because, you know, there's a multitude of runes out there that you can, you know, get your attack with the speed substats. You know, something similar, something similar to this, right? There's more value in rocking 17 speed with attack 63 versus rocking speed 42, a speed rune 42 with whatever substats that you got. So um, many, many ways to play around with it. You know, as far as your builds go, it just depends on the runes that you got. But again... Uh, for those people that are, are, are not fortunate enough to get all the runes, you can do something. What I'm doing, I'm going to attack or damage attack and using a swift bonus set to get the speed, a little bit of bonus speed that I want, um, so I don't have to focus on the speed sub stats. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So again, let's go ahead and uh, take a little sneak peek over here to some sh showcasing. And again, if you guys have some unique builds, if you guys have some uh, feedback on this particular unit, um, talk about different ways of 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 bringing units into your game into your uh you know your own meta you know talk about some of the substitutions that you use along the way and put it down in the comment section down below so we can all learn from you okay all right that is it i am done it's your boy childish your childish place check it out take care we will see you next time guys we're out all right take two take two i promise i won't jack this up here we go all right Let's check out these numbers one time, one time. Check this out.